Sturgeon Bay police find a missing Kentucky girl and arrest the man suspected of abducting her. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. The 13-year-old girl was found at 4.30 this morning, nearly 600 miles from her home in Owensboro, Kentucky. Authorities issued a national Amber Alert yesterday after they say she was taken by a family acquaintance. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has the latest. It was 24 tenuous hours, but a national Amber Alert came to an end in Sturgeon Bay. For something like this to, to resolve itself and have a happy ending and, and a little girl to go home to her mom, and, and uh, it, it's a good feeling. Jason Albertson is one of two officers who found 13-year-old Haley Willett from Kentucky. Police say she was abducted early Saturday morning by a family acquaintance, 43-year-old Archie Whalen. His sister lives in the city of Sturgeon Bay, and he apparently was uh, coming up here because he's familiar with the area because of her. When we got the initial information, uh, the suspect could be armed and dangerous. Albertson and his partner spotted the suspect's vehicle, a red Ford Explorer, pulling into the parking lot of the American. They arrested Whalen and found Willett apparently unharmed. They did not find any weapons. The Sturgeon Bay Police Department received an update Saturday afternoon that Wayland's vehicle may have been spotted in Sheboygan. Officer Albertson says he and his partner were talking strategy and what they would do just minutes before they made the arrest. We hadn't seen anything all night long. It just all happened driving down the highway um, and see a vehicle come by. And that looks, you know, a vehicle like that. While Albertson says they were just in the right place at the right time, Sturgeon Bay's police chief says the officer's preparedness in checking local hotels may have prevented a tragedy. This gentleman has an extensive criminal history that includes violence and sexual assaults. We felt that uh, we may have been minutes from, a, from an assault. But instead it ends with Waylon behind bars and Willett on her way back home to Kentucky. In Sturgeon Bay, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. Our attempts to contact the young girl's family in Kentucky, as well as Waylon's sister in Sturgeon Bay for comment, were unsuccessful.